Uh, also, the Nuggets are in Las Vegas, and that's where Chris Dempsey of the Denver Post is. Right now, let's go to the phone and bring in Chris and talk a little uh, Emmanuel Moutier. And Chris, before we get to Moutier, let's talk about the Ty Lawson situation. He has a court date here in Denver today. Where do things stand right now with Ty Lawson? Uh, well, on on the worse footing than they were before, obviously. Uh, you know, I, you know, the, his footing with the Nuggets was obviously shaky anyway coming into the summer, uh, given uh, you know all of the all of the things the uh, things that he had done prior to uh, you know even the draft, and then you had the video of the draft, you know, the video of the draft, and and now another DUI. So, um, you know, they're, they're they're about as bad as they can be. Obviously, uh, you know, his tenure here. Uh, you know, they've been trying to trade him, uh, you know, talking to, uh, as if it's, you know, I, I didn't need to talk to a bunch of people to know this, but talking to people around here, um, here in Summer League, and, uh, you know, his trade value is obviously negligible at this point. Um, so, you know, the, the Nuggets, you know, first of all, they have to let the to let the court proceedings kind of go through and, and, and see where they stand, and, um, and then kind of go from there. So it's a little bit of a holding pattern, but certainly from an organizational standpoint, uh, he continues to be a player that they would, they would like to unload. Chris, uh, there is said to be interest in Ty Lawson. There are reports that say the Pistons, the Rockets, the Lakers are all poking around here. Um, do you think those reports are real? And what can the Nuggets get realistically in return? Or are these teams, you think, maybe just trying to fleece the Nuggets right now, knowing they don't have a whole lot of leverage? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on right now. And if you're any one of those teams that needs a point guard, that's exactly what you'll do. Uh, you'll call them up and then and, and try to get them for as little as you can get them for. And that, you know, that's one of the problems that the Nuggets are running into right now. And um, you know, so listen, I, I don't expect anything. You know, in, in terms of a, if he is traded, I don't expect that to happen soon. You know, I, I, I it would be you know you know something that the Nuggets kind of want. I think they're going to want to put some space in between this and, you know, his latest uh, issue and, and whenever the trade comes and, uh, you know, uh, maybe try to get him out there and, you know, and apologize and probably put a, bit, a little bit better face on and, um, and, and maybe, you know, just get himself in a position where, uh, you know, they can have a fighting chance in some of these trade conversations. Um, you know, but right now, you know, yeah, if you're, if you're the Nuggets, you're really not entertaining a whole, a whole, a whole lot of anything unless somebody actually gives you full value for them or, or something kind of in the, in the, in the, in the, I should say in the near zip code of that. So, um, uh, you know, that's kind of where they stand with that. This is the sports show with uh, Woody and Les and our guest, special guest, Christopher Dempsey. I uh, forget his middle initial. What is your middle <laughs> uh, name? It is Adam. Adam. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So you could be wait C A D. So yeah, you're a real cad. CAD. Yeah, <laughs> go through life cad. Uh, I am Chris Dempsey. I have a solution. I have passed it along to Les Shapiro. In order to get rid of him, you you mm -hmm. seem to have the opinion that they're going to wait this out and see what develops. Why can't or why shouldn't they make a deal where they actually throw someone into the deal? Kenneth Reed, Gallinari, uh, uh, Eric Green, go down the list of people that are on this team, Hickson, and they Chandler. put together three or four people and say, here, and you have to take Ty Lawson. Is that just totally out of the realm of possibility, Christopher? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> uh, no, no, it isn't, actually. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, and there are some guys that they, you know, that they wouldn't mind kind of moving on and uh you know I, i'd be surprised if that if, if any deal included say a kenneth Fareed or a uh danilo gallinari simply because i mean well, unless unless a very major player is coming back in, in return mm -hmm. um uh, but but yes i you know if you're attaching say uh jj hickson or randy foy or something like that to to a ty lawson to kind of um, you know, I think that would help the Nuggets out a little bit. You definitely have a, a player, another player in there with some sort of value that can help you uh, get value back. Uh, I, I think ultimately, probably that's how it happens. Um, you know, it, it's you know, it's 
for the Nuggets, it's just about getting as, as good assets back as they, as they sure. possibly can and however they can do that. Yeah, you used the word full value, two words, full value earlier. Not. And so it just seems to me that if you want full value, you include some of your good assets too. And they do have, Chris, if I'm correct, they have a couple or three expiring contracts at the yeah. end of the year that would be attractive to people. And you sure. might be able to actually get a player. If they yeah. got one player of quality for two or three players, then I think that it would be that full value that you're, you, you keep mentioning and, and are personally asking for, I think. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's the only way they're going to get uh, you know, it gets a deal to be as fair as it possibly can be. Um, you know, so Danilo Gallinari's contract is expiring, obviously, uh, this year. Randy Foy? Um, Randy Foy's contract is expiring, and uh, J.J. Hickson's contract is yeah. expiring. Um, Thank all, goodness. All this year. So, so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, there, there are definitely guys that you could put out there and, uh, you know, and, and attach the deal to to help, help, help get, get a better, you know, a better trade going, but uh, you know, listen, listen. My my understanding right now is they'd like to keep uh, Danilo Gallinari for. Uh, as a matter of fact, they would like to extend his contract uh, if they can. Um, you know, there's there's not a ton of traction on that just quite yet, but that's their desire. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, I, I think I wouldn't rule anything out with this group. You know, with this Nuggets front office. You know, they've. Uh, I think with some of the deals that they've tried to do in the past, and some of the things that they try, I think it's pretty obvious that they're willing to. Uh, pretty much almost do anything they have to do to get the result that they want to get. So, uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. And then, you know, Ty Lawson, he's also got – listen, he, he's not even been punished by the NBA or the DUI in, uh, in, in January. So uh, the, Ty Lawson's got more uh, punishment to come, and, and the NBA will have to deal with that whenever the NBA does deal with that. And, uh, so that will be added on to, you know, the list of demerits, uh, you know, to, on, on his um, – on his rapidly, uh, his tenure uh, coming to a close here in Denver. He's Chris Dempsey of the Denver Post, brought to you by Papa John's, the official sponsor of the Colorado Rockies. Tell you more about that in a second. Chris, uh, you're in Las Vegas. You're at the Summer League. I'm watching yep. those games on TV, and I'm seeing a lot of people in the stands. And, of course, we're seeing a lot of GMs and head coaches there as well, uh, along with all the Nuggets brass being there. I'm wondering what the chatter is about Emmanuel Moutier. We're getting sparkling reviews from some people. Yeah, websites uh, I'm are. wondering what the people in the game are saying. Yeah, Emmanuel Moutier, if you had to name uh, the five players in summer league that have generated the most buzz, Emmanuel Moutier would be on that list. And uh, I, I, think it, I think a part of that is because so many people here, the, the sense I get is so many people here thought he was a good player, but weren't sure weren't super yeah, yeah yeah weren't necessarily convinced about that and then what he did in his first game uh against the atlanta hawks you know he, he came out and just did basically whatever he wanted to do on a basketball court opened up everybody's eyes i mean it just is after every game he he gets a horde of media and you know, it's just you know and, and everybody's kind of very intrigued there's a lot of oohs and ahs with some of the passes that he makes some of the moves that he makes uh it, within the crowd and um but just a general buzz i was talking to a few beat writers last, other beat writers last night, and they were, they were all basically, you know, the, the 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 summary of it all was how on earth did he fall down to number seven for the Nuggets to to, to, to grab him? So uh, he's he's been very really very good, and and um, uh, you know, and uh, the Nuggets certainly, if they they already knew this before, but they are definitely lucky to have him. Do you think it's possible that the Sacramento Kings will someday regret that they took? Uh, Willie yeah. Cauley Seinfeld instead of uh, <laughs> Moody. <Moutier. laughs> yeah, I, I do. I mean, I you know, and and those you know those those kind of things kind of you know they play out as as we see which how each player grows and what they grow into being. But yeah, you know, I, I think there could be. You know, I mean, you're talking about a Sacramento team that wanted a point guard and <laughs> instead Not of going enough. out and getting <laughs> right, well. Of course, as going out and getting one of that, you know, they know that they can grow with their franchise into the future. They end up, end up having to go out and sign Rajon Rondo to a one-year contract, and that's, you know, he might be first of all, he might clash with the coach against George Carl, and second of all, <laughs> even think? if he doesn't, he's got, even if even if he doesn't, he's got here today and gone tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, they they could definitely regret that, but we'll see. 
Hey, Chris, appreciate your time. Enjoy Vegas. Uh, Woody and I will see you there this weekend, all right? Yeah, fantastic. Can't wait to see you guys. All right. That's Christopher A. Dempsey <laughs> from Las Vegas. At that the might Summer be League. the funniest yeah. line I've heard all week. Can't wait to see you guys. He's in Las Vegas. He's going, whoa, I can't wait to a lesson. What do you get here? Hey, all our live guests brought to you by Papa John's, the official sponsor of the Colorado Rockies. The day after every Rockies win, and they're back on the field tonight. Get 50% off your regular menu price online order at papajohns.com. You have to use the promo code ROXWIN, R-O-X-W-I-N.